Welcome back to Chatter on the Wire. Let's see what trouble I got myself into this week. So if you're using your laser to do slate or bamboo coasters, anything like that, you're going to want a template. Uh, first thing you do, measure it out. In my case, they were 99 millimeters, so I'm making a box here, uh, 100 by 100. You want to make sure you check the little lock icon so that it doesn't keep it uh, in proportion, because you want this actually square there. Next thing we need to do is actually do a circle, in this, since we're doing circle coasters. Again, get that as close as you can to 100 by 100. We're going to uncheck the box there, make sure it's not locked, and then do 100 by 100 again, and move this over. So that we have a little better idea of exactly where we're going to be lining up the crosshairs. We're going to extend the top left corner out there a little bit. You probably don't technically need to do this, but I just found this was a little easier because the, at least with the X tool, the laser is hidden a bit behind the, um, or the crosshairs here are going to be hidden behind the laser. Sometimes when you draw that line, you get it a little off and it might have an angle. So I've had to actually use that rotate or I've had to use the feature up there to change the uh, angle. So at this point in time, we have our crosshairs there. We have our circle, we have our square. So now while we have this diagram by default, uh, notice the laser is at one. Uh, not gonna do too good here. So we need to change this over to the type of wood we're using and go ahead and use the default here. At least it has worked for me fine on this. Change each of the different uh, pictures or shapes, I guess it is, to what we need to do here. Double check, make sure we have the proper power and speed settings. And all we're gonna have to do at this point in time is save it off and we can see what happens after we burn this on the piece of wood. And the first template is done. Line up the crosshairs there, and we're good to go. So now that we have that template done, we're going to need an actual template for the photos we're going to import in. We'll start by creating another uh, canvas here, uh, 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Now we need to actually put a circle in here. So here we have the photo that's back on the clipboard. Just gonna paste it, in, paste it in. As you can see, it is way too large for this 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter canvas. So we're gonna go into the image settings, go to scale. And we're just gonna start adjusting this so it'll actually fit on this small canvas that we have here. Now that we have the size we want, we can actually play with the opacity. Not quite saying that one right, but basically now we can see where that circle for that coaster will show up on the background. Once we're happy with the settings here, we can actually hide that back template that has the circle on it. Save the image that we're going to be printing on the coaster.
Typically, I just use the defaults here. That background color on the image may cause you problems later on. So you'll have to test in your environment and see how that works out. Taking a look at what the picture looks like here. And we will import it into Xtools product. What I've found is you want to actually play with the sharpness and possibly the grayscale as well. I have seen very odd remnants uh, pop up in the corners that aren't showing up in the picture, so definitely test this out on a few times before you're actually burned for something you're looking to have permanently in, in use. That's quickly how to build a template out there to drop different things on and then how to actually build it in Photoshop as well so that you can actually get things centered. Well, that's it for this installment. Please think about hitting the like button, subscribing if you aren't already, and clicking on one of the other videos. See you in the next one.